hello, hello, and hello again to all of you, our community of friends out there. Uh, we serve a true living God. Isn't God great? Can we give God the praises just for who he is, for just for what he's done in our lives? Amen. He continues to show himself faithful. Amen, amen, and amen. Again, I uh, just want to take the time out to say hello to all of our community of friends and thank you. Thank you so much uh, for caring and sharing. Thank you so much for uh, your prayers and your concern. Amen. And we pray right now for your family that you are uh, you are safe and uh, pray for God's peace and his covenant upon you. Amen. As you continue to pray for us as we go through this thing called life, as we labor, amen, through this thing called life, but we labor, amen, before God, amen. God is so awesome, so awesome. So we pray that you all are safe and that you all are still wearing your mask and you all are still social distancing, amen. As we continue to look from the hills, look to the hills from which come up our help. We know our help comes from the Lord. Amen. And we pray right now that we were safe from this pandemic. Amen. That God will allow it to do what it has to do. And then he can say halt just as much as he allowed it to happen or he can stop. It. Amen. So let me make sure we stay on our face, God, and we continue to pray before the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So this is Minister Terrence Audrick. And on behalf of my wife, Minister Renee Audrick and Meditation Moments Incorporated, this is your man of God. Can I ask you a question segment? Amen. Can I ask you a question? Amen. So let's have a conversation. So the question today is, does God understand our pain? I repeat that. It says, man of God, does God understand our pain? What a poignant question. Um, heartfelt question and and I was there say a bold question and I say that because you know we, we we probably were taught coming up or what we believe and what we heard and what we read oh you you're not supposed to question God but you know if you in your word you see all throughout the Bible God's word has been questioned time and again we've seen Job, we know the story of Job, how he questioned and, you know, his wife questioned and other people questioned, where's your God, you know, why you allow, why does God allow you to go through this, you know, so you can question God, and it's okay. If you have a question, take it before the Lord. One of the problems is we take our question to the wrong person, the wrong people, Amen. We, we take our questions to people who are, are who are frail, just like you and I, who are sinners saved by grace, like you and I, and we, we don't get the answer that we want to, we fall off. No, take it before the Lord in prayer. But with that being said, we're going to have a conversation about this because there's so many different ways we can take with that question. Does God understand your our pain? Absolutely, yes, he does. And to me, you, you, you speak from a position of pain, if I may, to write that. But let me caution you right now um, from somebody who's been there. Um, try not to understand or make sense of your pain right now because you probably can't. Because if you did, you probably wouldn't have wrote, wrote the letter or asked the question, does God understand pain? But he really does. He really does understand pain. Pain comes in so many different ways, so many different forms. You can have physical pain, emotional pain. God understands it all. He's been through all of it. We're going to talk about that a little later. But nobody, nobody can tell you about your pain. And I dare not, there's not a word that I can say to you that can speak to the very existence of your pain. Not a word. No, no matter how long I sit here and try. Nothing, because nobody knows your pain but you. But God does. I promise you that he does. I remember I was um, at the dentist and I was getting some some um, some dental work done and um, he shot me with the Novocaine. You know, as they do, they shoot you up to, to numb my, uh, my gums and everything. So right before he about to, you know, um, start the work on me, he says, okay, well, you good, right? You don't feel anything, right? And I said, uh, yes, I do feel something. 
And he's tapping, he's tapping on my side. And I said, you feel that? I said, yes, I feel that. So he says, well, you shouldn't feel it. I'm like, well, I do feel it. You sure? Yes, I'm sure, sir. I'm sure. The last thing I want you to do is stick that needle in my mouth without being numb. I'm sure. He goes on to say again, well, you, you shouldn't, but I give you another injection. I say that because nobody knows your pain but you. Don't let nobody tell you that you're not hurting. Whether you're going through physical pain or emotional pain, neither one of them are enjoyable. They all hurt at different levels. They hurt. You're hurting in marriages. Your family has hurt you. The emotional pain. You have felt, you feel pain in your body. You know, you, you have people all the time going through some pain and they say, Lord, just take me out. The pain is too unbearable. I can't take it no more. But God, but God, watch this, but God. But God. He did hang on the cross. He did indeed hang on the cross. Watch this. So in the, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 4, I, I like this, how it talks about. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 4, this is the New International Version. It says, Surely he took our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we consider him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. So, yes, he took our pain. He and our sound like something that's jointly. So he took our pain. He did. He bore us and he bore our pain. But watch this. To bore, it didn't mean he took it away. And that's the mistake that we made. He didn't completely take away your pain. To when he says, when it says that he bore our pain, it means that he endured our pain. So we take our cue from God. So he endured our pain. So you will learn how to endure it. Amen. That's what the all it was all about. So when we talk about when God hung on that cross, oh yes, he felt every bit of that pain. He was 100 percent man. And that's why he wouldn't pray to God, take this cup from him, because he saw, because he was 100% man and 100% God, he saw the ugliness and nastiness that God saw. That sin. And he allowed his son to hang on the cross. And for every pain you have, every pain in your heart, every pain in your body, every emotional scar that you had and you will continue to have and will, will continue to have, he hung on the cross and died for that. Every time you fall, you cut yourself, you hurt, you waking up and your body's aching, you getting older, your bones are creaking like an old wooden floor. All that pain that you feel in your knees, in your elbows, the arthritis, he hung on the cross for every bit of that pain. Every person that has hurt you, every person that has shot daggers at you, every person that looked at you nasty, all that emotional pain, those emotional scars that you carry now, he has hung on that cross. He bore that so that he set the example that, oh, yeah, you can. And now what he was saying when he hung on that cross is that that pain, that pain that you have experienced or you were experiencing, that, that pain is going to allow you to make you stronger. So the pain, you're going to always have pain. Pain is everywhere. Every single place you go, everything you do, there's pain all around you. You cannot escape pain. But because he hung on the cross and died for that pain and understood what it felt to hurt, he's now saying, yes, although you're going to experience pain, I'm going to show you how you can endure that pain that's going to make you stronger. And notice I use the word stronger. Because you're already strong. The Bible says it. Great is he that's in me than he that's in the world. So you're already strong. But that pain is going to make you strong. Oh, that sounds crazy. But that's kingdom language. That's, that's kingdom talk. You got to believe it. You got to believe it. It doesn't say that you won't go. You won't experience these things. And you're going to experience pain in level 
different from anybody else because that's your personal pain. That's your personal struggle. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not hurting, either physically or emotionally. That's yours exclusively. And because of that, you have an exclusive right to the kingdom of God. You have an exclusive right to go before God and ask him for comfort and understanding. So embrace that pain for what it is. Much easier said than done. But you don't have to believe me, but you can read the word of God and believe it and understand. But I tell you right now, that pain, once you learn to manage that pain and understand why we have to go through this, why? Then you know and understand because it's, that's that pain that controls your every thought, your being. And and believe it or not, the pain is, is, is the, the pain that you feel and that's the force that's going to drive you. Believe it or not, that's going to be your driving force in your life. That pain, that constant reminder, that pain in your back, that pain in your side, that pain in your hip, and your hip, that pain in your heart, that pain in your mind, that pain is going to be the pain that reminds you that you are greater and that God did hang on the cross and he showed you how to endure that pain. Because the Bible also tells us, tell us that no temptation has taken you such as common to man. But God is faithful. In other words, there's nothing that you're going to go through that nobody else has experienced. And most importantly, your true and living God has experienced that very pain. Oh, so yes, he knows. And yes, he do understand your pain. 100% because he was 100% man when he was hanging on that cross. You read the record. He understands your pain. So don't get beside yourself and somebody else don't understand. That's okay. Because that's you. That's between you and your Lord and you and your Savior. And you don't have to explain to nobody how you're feeling, both physically and emotionally. You don't. Now, of course, when you go visit your doctor, yes, they want to know. And oftentimes, they may say, well, I don't know. You're feeling this, but I don't think you're feeling this. You may be feeling something else. You go, wait a minute, doctor. And guess what? God gave doctors wisdom beyond their years, and he allowed them to, 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 to study and understand and, and, and the, the, uh, the knowledge and understanding to help us to get better. But you still have a voice to speak up, say, no, doc, I'm sorry. And all your understanding and all your knowledge, I'm telling you, my pain is not over here, but it's over here. And you have to speak up. And that's how you can go before the Lord. Say, Lord, I'm hurting right now. I'm hurting. Who else would you want to go to but God who understands what that pain is? But when I tell you he's taken that on the cross, he bore that on the cross to show you how to endure. And it may take you uh, a, a few times. It may, it, may, it may not take overnight or a few months. It may take you years. But understand that you will overcome it. So again, if you even succumb to that pain, God has already provided for that as well. So don't be afraid of it. It's the awareness that you have that's already there. Our body speaks to us when we're in pain. It lets you know that something is wrong. And we often want to think, oh my God, what's going on? Your pain, when your body is aching, that's your body talking to you. Hey, you need to do something. Or you need to stop doing something. You are wearing me out. This is your body communicating, talking with you. Well, how do they? Well, when pain. Again, this awesome God that we have. You know, so many things we can't see. We can't see how God, our mind is not like his. He see down the street, around the corner, over the hill. He see everything. He already got it under control and understanding. We just got to let our mind to be a little bit, a little bit more to what God is saying. Amen. So again, as I stand here again before you and say that I don't understand your pain, but I just want to encourage you to trust the Lord because he's already paid the price for that. And you already made provision for you. For you can be better with that and learn how to endure the pain. Oh, no, your pain won't go away. You will have pain until the day he call you home. But you know how to manage it better. Amen? Amen. To God be the glory. So as always, we like to say, remember, remember to meditate on God's promises and his precepts. Just one moment at a time. Just one moment at a time. Amen? And we will see you again, Lord willing, next time. God bless you.